No, our ghost has let us down. Oh, man. All right, guys. Hello and welcome back to Ultimate Four Simulator. And we are here with Holly, our mother black bear, and her two beautiful cubs who are currently watching what appears to be either a crow or a raven or something like that in the distance. Was that tree always there? I feel like the landscape is actually starting to change every time we wake up. And that is just so cool. So we are back with our mother black bear and her two cubs, Brutus and Honey. Honey is over there sniffing at the river. Brutus is currently swimming laps inside of the little pond down here. But these guys, oh, was that a bat actually? And not, that's, no, that's definitely a bird. That just was really cool because it came over to the cave, so I thought it was a bat. But we are doing very well. We have almost raised our babies up enough that they will be able to go forth and live as wild adult black bears. And that's pretty awesome because it's very hard to raise a bear cub to adulthood. They are soft and fluffy and seem to be very, very yummy when it comes to uh, confronting any of the cougars that were chasing us down or the wolves that were chasing us down or or, you know the grizzly bears that were chasing us down and pardon us we're just having a kind of like bear's eye stomach eye view of inside of holly there for a second let's get her a little more breakfast wonderful wonderful i love that they can just get breakfast right here on the amazing den of rushing waters that we were going to call this originally what the heck is going on up there there's a grizzly bear trying to chase a raccoon up a cliff do you see this nonsense oh <gasps> the raccoon didn't make it you guys Oh my gosh. Well, we don't want to mess with that grizzly bear and he's trying to come over to our home. So today, my friends, we are taking our half grown bear cubs and we are going to be exploring the world a little bit more with them. We're going to see if we can find the, oh, look at that. Yeah, we can do it today. We're going to see if we can help Holly find the golden eggs. And while we are searching for the golden eggs, we are going to try to get Brutus and Honey up to level 10. That is when we will call them adults and we will be ready to move on to a different type of uh, animal and you guys are actually going to vote when the time comes which animal we are going to be playing as I'm very excited about that also I think we just ate a perch that's so cool so over here there's more than just salmon that you can catch there's perch and I think I saw another kind of fish uh, like a bass a little while ago so that's really exciting. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and eat this one too because the mother still needs some food. And we're gonna let Honey go ahead and get the honey out of this tree so that she can eat it. And there's the golden eggs, yes! So I think that's a great way to kind of end off on Holly's story too, is a chance for her to be able to collect up these golden eggs and replenish her health and start building up her fat reserves so that she can once again have some wonderful healthy bear cubs in the future. Who knows, maybe we'll end up returning to Holly's Tale part two and seeing if we can raise her babies up to uh, being very healthy, happy, second round of bear cubs that would be kind of fun but that'll be for you guys to vote on in the future because i love just going wherever you want to learn more about animals so let's see come on no i'm gonna eat you i'm gonna eat you and i'm gonna eat you come back come back brutus is trying oh thanks mom <laughs> Did you see that? I was trying to have Brutus chase down these little gecko salamander things so that he could have some food. And Holly just kind of reached out. Did she also eat it? Nope, it's right there. Holly just kind of reached out and batted at it and got it for her son. So cool. All right. Well, we found one of the golden eggs. I like to imagine they're very rich and fatty and full of all the delicious things Holly is going to need to become stronger and ready to have another another batch of babies at some point in the future. Um, So let's figure out where would the next batch of golden eggs be and that would actually be down a little bit so we're gonna go back towards our waterfall and go down and it looks like that beautiful beautiful meadow that we actually were exploring the very first day we played ultimate forest that is where the next set of eggs will be and that's wonderful because we can say that holly is going to be showing her children more of the environment um we're gonna go ahead and get this out more of the environment that they are part of and i did look it up uh after the last couple episodes and I did some reading to see exactly how big a female black bear's territory is. And the answer for the female black bear is about, um, her territory is going to range about 2.5 to 10 miles. And I think that the larger territories probably go with the bigger bears 
or the larger territories probably go with the bears who have to cover a little bit more ground to find enough food because the bears are basically going to go wherever they can to find the food sources that they need. So if you have a bigger territory, oh, Brutus, can you get the squirrel? Come on, little guy. Oh, that's a really tough squirrel. All right, you can have squirrel with the side of, of acorns, actually, my friend. So we're going to let Brutus eat. Hey, mom and sister, back off. We're going to let him eat the squirrel and then come over and eat these little walnut acorn things. And there we go. Because, yeah, I can only imagine, like, if I was going to be a predator, I mean, you'd want a lot of territory to ensure that you had enough food resources within that territory. But it, it, that also means, like, more territory that you have to defend. And that just sounds like such a chore, doesn't it? So I don't know if most predators bother. And I would love looking this up and trying to do some research on it. If most, most predators would actually bother trying to defend a larger territory than fits their food needs. I think it depends on like how your breeding cycles would work and stuff like that. But that's biologist Siri actually rambling to herself because I love thinking about these kinds of things. I'm quite the curious person if you can't tell. And we're going to focus right now on Holly and her children. So we are trying to work our way down from the big spot that we're at on the top of the waterfall. And we're going to wiggle to the bottom of the waterfall, hopefully very gently and not with a lot of pain and actual falling involved yeah it's not too bad to jump right down here Whee! that's kind of fun actually and somewhere down here we will hopefully be able to find oh there's a wolf we will hopefully be able to find our way to um to the next set of golden eggs and this is giving holly a good chance to kind of show off the territory to her kids and let them see what the wild world looks like all right come along brutus come along honey there's a dirt patch for one of you to dig in. And there's a crab. A crab. Brutus, you may enjoy a good crab. I don't think he's ever eaten crab before. And there's a few of them down there. So we may be starting to get to the point. Run after the mice. Brutus, you're not the fastest, but do your best. You can do it. You can do it, buddy. You got this. Come on. A little bit more. There you go. But there we go. So this is good because we're teaching our cubs the variety of food out there that they could possibly eat. That wasn't so hard with a crab. I have no idea what the bite force of a black bear is, but I bet it's strong enough to break through uh, a crab exoskeleton. Not so sure about a turtle, however. Oh, there he comes. He's coming to defend his own and we ate him before he even got a chance. There we go. All right. Brutus is almost leveled up. We just need a little bit more food for him. Uh, maybe he could go get some fish. Maybe some fish? We'll have to see. Maybe while he's hunting around and looking for something to eat, we might stumble on those golden eggs down here. That would be useful. Let's see. What's over here? Brutus, what'd you find? Oh, it's some more nuts. They're kind of hard to see, though, so let me wiggle this way. I think it was just, like, one nut. Oh, what? Holy moly! There's a lot of stuff going on over here. I don't know if I should let you do this, Brutus, but I'm going to try, and hopefully you won't get hurt. All right, he's going to try to eat his very own owl. Whoa, good job, Brutus. Uh, since that was your kill, I will let you eat it. But your sister has to level up next. All right, look at that. So there are some bunnies. It looks like a bunch of white rabbits. Arctic hares, we could probably call them. Even though they're not in the Arctic. Uh, hanging out over here. And there's a bunch of sheep. And let's swap over to honey. And there's some carcasses. And I see the golden eggs. So we should be able to go collect those up in just a little bit. Oh, come on, honey. Come on. Oh, she's too slow. All right, we'll have her eat this, and then we'll have to see if we can improve her vitality to make her a little bit faster. All right, and we'll go ahead and eat this. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and eat the grass. Wonderful, wonderful. And we'll amble over here, and we'll let mom have those golden eggs in just a second. But her bear cubs are going to eat the berries. And somebody asked in the comments a few days ago, um, several days ago actually, but I just remembered it out of the blue. Do bears like to eat bananas? And my friend, I have no idea, but I would think that they would. I, I know bananas are toxic to certain creatures. I don't think bears are included in that. And bears are opportunistic eaters, which means if there is food in front of them, they're going to eat it. 
So let's go ahead and have Holly collect up this set of golden eggs. We're doing really good with this challenge for once. I guess if you just keep coming back day after day, eventually they'll start showing up in the places you can reach. And we'll teach our kids about the other side of the uh, little canyon. So there we go. We can start working our way back towards a den. Is the, the second den, is the den of reflecting water nearby? Kind of. All right, let's take the kids to go see the den of reflecting water. That should be good. We should teach them how to be good bears. Also, I can't see a thing when it's this dark. Oh, I hope the moon comes out soon, but it's a rainy night, so we may not be able to see much. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There we go. I think we just had the shift. Oh, look at this. Kids, you don't even know it. This is, this is actually where your mom used to live before we moved into a brand new den just for you. Oh, look. It's been so long since we've been at the Cave of Reflecting Waters, and it's so peaceful. So we'll go ahead and just spend the night here, kind of showing them where the territory is. And male black bears, for the record, will have a larger territory, apparently, than the females. But their territory, um, many, many different males' territory, can overlap over the same female's territory. So the female doesn't seem to mind if, like, there's a bunch of random male black bears just walking around. All right, so we'll go ahead and let her eat. I want to make sure Holly keeps leveling up because that keeps the slots open for our creatures. Mm, or maybe, I can't remember. I may be totally getting things backwards and maybe like you start off on a low level with, with when you start a new creature. Also, it's a very rainy day. This is going to make things a little tricky. Huh, so I may actually be completely messed up. And I don't think we can catch this guy, unfortunately. Unless I, I think the only time we've ever caught, oh yeah, was when I used the perfect pounce. Sweet. Come here, honey. I got you a whole white tail deer buck. So there we go. We'll let her eat that. But yeah, black bears, opportunistic eaters. And now that I remember, I think you actually start at level one when you start playing as a new creature. So I might be shooting myself in the foot by focusing on Holly for a little bit there. I wonder if Holly, or focusing on... Let's see. I wonder if Honey will be able to catch that other deer. I don't think she could, but I'm going to give her a good little try. The deer kind of looks like it's limping. So maybe we'll get lucky. <gasps> yes! Oh, look at you! There you go, Honey. Hopefully this will give you a good chunk towards your upgrade. There we go. So she just learned how to hunt a deer by watching her mom. Observational behavior for the win. And we're going to come over and shake a couple bushes and focus on trying to get honey leveled up. Oh, there's some nice apples. But yeah, I feel really silly because I think it just clicked with me when I played Ultimate Bird Simulator that you don't actually have the um, the levels stay with you when you play as new animals. The levels only stay with that animal. So hey, maybe that means in the future if we, work, if we still choose to work on Holly's levels a little bit, uh, one, that will allow us to unlock more of the animals that we can eventually play as, but two, maybe that means she'll have three black bear cubs if we ever decide to play with her again. How cool would that be? All right, and here's a turtle. I'll go ahead and feed Honey the turtle if I can catch him. All right, come here, you. I'm gonna try to break your shell open and eat you. Her family helped out, and then, come on, turtle. Let's get this turtle out of the water. It's gonna fall in the water, and I'm not gonna be able to eat it. No. Okay, hurry, go fast. All right, there you go, honey. And we'll see if we can find the last golden egg. And then allow uh, allow Holly to kind of grow a little bit. Is that another turtle coming for revenge? There's a lot of turtles over here. They might be coming for revenge. So let's see, Holly, what level is Honey? Oh, Honey's about to level up. That's good. All right, just flying through the air. That's normal. All right, I think this is a turtle coming for revenge. So let's go ahead and teach this snapping turtle what for. Yeah, the black bear family is really doing it now. There we go. So we're feasting on turtles on a rainy day by the waterfall. Kind of picturesque, to be honest. And oh, can we do the surfing? Can we do the surfing? Ah, uh, no, I can't quite get on it like I did last time. That was so cool to be able to actually have them surf across the water on the lily pad. Kind of glitchy, but kind of amazing at the same time. All right. In fact, it was entirely amazing. Forget the glitchy. There we go. So Honey's doing really well. She's actually almost an adult. She's only like a level and a third away from becoming an adult black bear. So let's let her run up here. And the last thing I really want to do with her mother is just give... Can I get this? Yes. Is just give 
Oh no, it's fish torpedoes again! You guys aren't supposed to defend each other like this. It just cracks me up. But we're going to give Holly the opportunity to find that last golden egg. So let's see. Lots of aggressive salmon splashing about. Can I get that one? No, he's a little fast for me. Ah, that one slipped right past my paws. All right, and we'll get this little bird. Sorry, little bird. Those little finches are a fantastic source of experience, though. And then Honey has found a carcass to scavenge. So we'll go ahead and let Honey eat. And then I think we're going to let them rest because this this day. Oh, wait, she's so close to leveling up. Just one more, one more thing, one more anything. Where's a fish when you need one? Here he comes. Prepare to gotcha. All right. Honey is only one level away from becoming an adult, you guys. Oh, I can't believe it. Oh, is that a cougar? Oh, she still needs mom on occasion. Oh, what's what's attacking her? There's a fish just popping out of the ground attacking her, defending its own. A level 19 fish, no less. What kind of chaos is that about? But all right, so it looks like Holly needs to defend her children from this catamount that's coming up. And we need to go and snag that very last golden egg. And we will be doing that next time. But you guys need to keep an eye out because we are getting so close, so close to being able to choose one of the amazing other creatures creatures to play as. So keep your eyes out and just remember we would be able to come back to Holly. I think I forgot that like it saves the level when you play as the creature. So that means even more chance to get to bond with all the animals and even we could play as some of the unlocked skins with some of these guys. I think that would be really fun. We've got a lot to do. We've got a lot to take care of and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.